Hello, this is Michael J. Emery. I recommend that you listen to this program using headphones and in a location where you can close your eyes. For your own personal reasons, you've decided to use this program, perhaps hoping that it will share with you techniques or insights into how to develop powerful study habits. It will, but beyond this, it is going to install a growing sense of self-awareness and curiosity about the future possibilities awaiting you. It could be that up until now, you've not been receiving the grades that you desire or the grades that someone else has told you you have to receive. On the other hand, it could be that your grades are exactly what you want and what you've been searching for is a means to accelerate and amplify your capacity for learning new material. Obviously, I don't know you, so I won't assume what your motivations are. But that aside, I do know that what you're going to experience will shift what you pay attention to now and into the future. What I want to make clear for you from the very beginning is that regardless of your age, you could be a university student, a high school student, a grade school student, or even someone who just wants to learn more at any age. There is a subtle distinction that will make your capacity for learning much greater. This is the orientation of your motivation. If your motivation is external, and by this I mean that someone or something outside of your body demands or intends that you learn the material, you might find that either immediately or over time, it takes a great deal of energy to keep up with that external sense of motivation. I realize that in many instances, you cannot get away from that, whether it's the wishes of your parents, competition with peers, or standards set by a certain institution. Regardless, it is my belief, and you don't have to agree with me, that when you connect with an internal sense of motivation, you may unsurprisingly find that learning occurs naturally and effortlessly because you are doing it for your own reasons. Approximately 400 years ago, a man by the name of Sir Francis Bacon once stated that knowledge is power. And I want you to keep in mind, realizing now, that at some point in the not too distant future, your formal studies will most likely end. However, you will always continue learning because regardless of what you do in life, you can't help but learn. In this program, you're going to experience how to create effective study habits. And as you're learning now about learning, I want you to consider that you're